Hello friends, this video on Life Processes Part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the kind of heart which we human beings have. So how does a four-chambered heart function? And what are the advantages of having a four-chambered heart? So what happens in case of human beings? They have a four-chambered heart. So what are the four chambers? Two auricles and two ventricles. So I guess now you can understand why another ventricle is added here. So that the oxygenated and the deoxygenated blood now can be completely separated both in auricles as well as ventricles. So this prevents mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. So here also we have double circulation. So let us try to understand how we have a double circulation here. So let us suppose this is the body. And these are the lungs and somewhere here we have the heart which is divided into four chambers so this is the right auricle this is the left auricle and this is the right ventricle and this is the left ventricle right so the auricles are the one which will receive blood a i r auricles are the receiving chambers ventricles are the pumping chambers that is vip so this lungs will take in oxygen from outside so the blood which will come out of the lungs that will be oxygenated blood where will the oxygenated blood go l for lungs l for left auricle so the oxygenated blood will go to the left auricle from left auricle this blood will go into the left ventricle and the left ventricle will send this oxygenated blood to different parts of the body right now again in body cellular respiration will happen carbon dioxide will be released so deoxygenated blood from the body will come into the right auricle so this is the deoxygenated blood from right auricle, it will come inside the right ventricle and the right ventricle will send it back to the lungs. Right? So here also you see that in one complete cycle, once this oxygenated blood passed the heart and then the deoxygenated blood again passed the heart. So in one cycle, the blood passes the heart two times. So that is why this is also known as double circulation. So in this case, the blood is enclosed in vessels. Because of that, the blood is at a higher pressure. Now, higher rate of the oxygenated blood flow enables birds and mammals maintain high activity levels. As I said, the warm blooded animals, that is birds and mammals, they need some extra energy to maintain their body temperature. Now, the high rate of flow of the oxygenated blood actually helps them to maintain their body temperature. And that is why in case of warm blooded animals, we do not want that the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood gets mixed together. And that is why the separation is done and therefore they have four chambered heart. So if you look at the circulatory system in this fashion here you can see the red lines actually denote in your textbooks or mostly a convention is followed where the red lines denote the oxygenated blood. Red denotes the oxygenated blood and blue denotes the deoxygenated blood. So here you can see that the oxygenated blood comes from the lungs, it goes to the heart and from heart it goes to different parts of the body. We can see the red lines everywhere. Similarly, the blue lines start from the different parts of the body. They come to the heart and from heart they are again pumped back to the lungs. So you can see they are pumped back to the lungs. From lungs they will be thrown out through the nostrils. Right? So this is how oxygenated and deoxygenated blood is circulated throughout the body of an organism. So hi, thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.